Hello everyone, welcome to the China Business Legal Navigator. The topic for the discussion today is how to prepare and structure a robust manufacturing contract in China. Chinese manufacturers have cemented their position as leading global suppliers across various industries. The ability to produce a broad spectrum of goods at competitive prices makes them a popular choice for international businesses. However, the venture is not without its challenges. Risks and uncertainties, potential red flags and scam alerts are associated with doing business in China. Therefore, proper due diligence is a necessity to ensure secure and transparent dealings and should be a first step before we go into setting up um, Chinese manufacturing contracts. Recognizing red flags and scam alerts, business names and registrations. The first step in due diligence is to determine the actual Chinese business name of the manufacturer. This should then be verified against uh, Chinese government records to ensure uh, legitimacy. Suspicious contracting practices. One common tactic is for a company to encourage you to sign agreements with different subsidiarities, which could be a strategy to sidestep liability. Always be cautious of where and with whom you're signing contracts. Absence of official business stamps. Official business stamps or chops hold the same legal weight, uh, weight in China as a signature outside of China. Any agreement that lacks an official business stamp is not valid and should be approached with suspicion. Company's financial standing. Delve into the company's capitalization, primary sources of funding and overall financial health. A company in poor financial health can be significant risk for any business transactions in China. Conflicts of interest. Researching the potential conflicts of interest among officials and shareholders in the Chinese company is also essential, as it can help you assess the company's credibility and potential risks. Irregular activities or operations cancelled. Uh, being on this uh, list can be in the indicative of financial mismanagement in China or other problems that might not make the company a reliable partner. Alignment with approved business scope. Verifying that um, Chinese manufacturer product or service offerings align with their approved business scope is crucial. Tangible assets and intellectual property. Ensure that the Chinese manufacturer has substantial tangible assets and clear intellectual property holdings, especially if they claim to have unique or patented processes. Legal history. Companies uh, with a, a history of disputes, lawsuits or other legal challenges can be a red flag. Constructing a robust manufacturing contract. A robust manufacturing contract can be your safeguard against potential issues in China. Clearly defined terms. Outline specifics such as product specifications, order quantities, delivery uh, timelines and payment terms. Quality control measures. Detailed acceptable standards in inspection processes and what constitutes a rejectable product. Recourse in case of financial distress. The product contract should have clear terms in case the Chinese manufacturer faces financial issues or bankruptcy. This includes clauses that allow the use of assets to uh, fulfill any obligations. Advance payment bond. This bond ensures that your advance payment can be returned if the Chinese manufacturer fa fails to deliver. For most companies, a non-disclosure, non-use, non-circumvention NNN agreement should be a first line of defense in protecting your interest in China, as it provides better protection and is more common in China than a regular NDA. Focusing um, on the manufacturing contract is equally vital. The manufacturing contract goes beyond the business relationships initial stages to address the manufacturing specifics 
especially when moles are involved. Moles and key components of a manufacturing contract, ownership of moles. The uh, manufacturing contract must make it unequivocally uh, clear who holds the ownership rights to the moles. This clarity prevents uh, potential disputes in the future. Users limitations, specifying how and where the uh, moles can be used is essential. By setting clear boundaries, manufacturers will understand the extent to which they can use the moles preventing unauthorized uh, usage. Penalties for violation. There should be a clear outline of consequence if any terms of the manufacturing contract are breached, especially regarding mold use and ownership. This acts as a deterrent to any potential violation. Mold maintenance and storage. The agreement should set forth terms uh, concerning mold maintenance, repair and replacement. Furthermore, the storage uh, conditions should be clearly defined to ensure the longevity and preservation of the molds. Return or destruction of molds upon the termination of the business relationship or the uh, contract, um, manufacturing contract, there should be a, a clear terms addressing whether the molds will be returned to the owner or destroyed. This ensures that the molds don't fall into unauthorized hands post agreement intellectual property in manufacturing contracts in china china has a first to file system when it comes to intellectual property ip so the first to file for example a design patent in china owns it thus clearly defining ip rights is paramount when detailing a manufacturing contract in china who owns the rights to the product design who holds the rights to any process innovations that might emerge during manufacturing? These questions need clear answers. Clearly define IP ownership. Ensure that the contract explicitly states that all intellectual property rights related to the product, its design and its manufacturing process belongs to your company. Any ambiguity can lead to costly disputes later on. Restrictions on use. The contract should clearly define how the manufacturer can use your IP. It should specify that they can only use your IP to produce your product and not for any other purpose, including producing goods for other clients or their own benefit. Confidentiality clauses. An N and N non-disclosure, non-use, non-circumvention agreement can further safeguard your IP. It prevents the manufacturer from disclosing, using, or bypassing your intellectual property for its advantage. Manufacturing contract ensuring uh, enforceability in China. For any contract to hold weight in China, certain conditions need to be met. Adherence to Chinese laws, all contracts in China must be in line with and adapted to the current Chinese laws. This ensures that the contract is viewed as valid in Chinese courts. Jurisdiction in China. To ensure uh, enforceability, it's crucial to have the jurisdiction stated in the contract to be in China. It makes the legal process smoother if disputes arise. Language of the contract. Contests written in Chinese are far more enforceable in China, and you avoid translation problems and reduce enforceability later on in the court in China. Even if an English version is provided, the translate translated Chinese version will be deemed official in legal uh, proceeding. Uh, here we are then talking about the translation of the English version. If you have a bilingual contract and it's uh, not stated which of the, those uh, language versions are the ruling language uh, uh, version, then used to the court will rely on the Chinese version. So it's clearly important. It's important then to state clearly which language version is the ruling version, and do also uh, be also aware that Chinese companies like to put in better condition in the Chinese version. So it's crucial here that uh, you are able to understand uh, what's written in the Chinese version. Or what you don't want to end up is a contract saying that the Chinese version is the uh, ruling language in the Chinese version, and then the English version is the ruling language in the English version. 
Engaging with Chinese manufacturers can be lucrative, but it's essential to be armed with the right knowledge and resources. Being aware of potential red flags and scam alerts combined with the creation of a robust manufacturing contract can greatly mitigate risks. Remember, the key to a successful international business relationship lies in transparency, understanding and strict adherence to legal and ethical standards. A well-crafted manufacturing contract uh, in China offers protection, clarity and insurance to both parties involved in the manufacturing process. When combined with an um, NNN agreement or paragraphs, businesses can navigate the manufacturing landscape in China with greater confidence. And by ensuring contracts are in line with Chinese legal and linguistic standards, with a jurisdiction set to China adapted to Chinese laws, international businesses can ensure that their agreements stand up in Chinese courts. Thank you for listening to the China Business Legal Navigator. Contact us uh, if you need legal help in China, help with background investigation of Chinese companies, protecting patents, trademarks, um, and verification of contracts, drafting of contracts that follows the law uh, in China, um, uh, IP issues uh, or conflicts or with Chinese companies, uh, etc. If you require our assistance or have further questions about our services, please do not hesitate to contact our customer relationship manager, Jan A. Christensen at J A N E R I K N C B Hub dot com. J A N E R I K at N C B Hub dot com. Or you can go to our website, N C B Hub dot com ncbhub.com. We look forward to hearing from you and helping your business succeed in China.